cleaning resuscitation equipment with an autoclave. During use, resuscitation equipment becomes contaminated with the body fluids of mother and baby. If you simply wash your equipment with soapy water and set it to dry, the equipment may appear clean. Harmful germs, too small to see however, may still remain. These germs can pass into a baby's airway, leading to infection. This video will show the key steps of cleaning resuscitation equipment, including sterilizing the parts in an autoclave. This will make the equipment safe for the next baby. The first step is preparation. Organize the room into a separate clean area and a dirty area. Wear protective clothing to protect yourself from harmful germs on the equipment and any splashes of chemical. You need boots, an apron, gloves, mask, eye protection and a cap. You can wear clean exam gloves or utility gloves at this step. Prepare a solution of 0.5% chlorine and soapy water fresh each time you need to clean the equipment. Next, wipe off the equipment right after use. This step makes cleaning easier and safer by removing secretions before they harden on the equipment and removing harmful germs such as hepatitis or HIV. Dip a piece of gauze in your solution of chlorine and wipe all the surfaces on the outside of the equipment. Re-soak the gauze when you start on a different piece. Now, clean the equipment. Open the suction devices. Then, take the ventilation bag apart completely. To help you remember how, take it apart in the same order each time. Numbering the parts is another helpful way to remember how to take the bag apart and how to put it back together. Now, scrub all surfaces of each part inside and out in soapy water. Use a clean cloth and a soft brush. A toothpick can be used to clear the tip of the suction device. After washing, drop each piece in a bucket of clean rinse water. Immerse the parts and move them around in the water to remove the soap. Then set them on a rack to dry. If you see a light chalky material on the equipment, it's likely to be a buildup of minerals and should be removed. Make a solution of equal parts water and white household vinegar. Soak the submerged parts in the solution for 10 minutes. 
Then rinse them in a bucket of clean water until they no longer smell of vinegar. Now the equipment is ready for sterilization with an autoclave. Place the pots on a tray with a little space between each item to allow free circulation of the steam. Then set the tray in the autoclave. Set the temperature and time needed to sterilize the equipment depending on the type of autoclave you have. Keep a record using a sterilization log. Once the complete sterilization cycle is done, let the equipment cool before removing it from the autoclave. Now you've disinfected the equipment. Wearing sterile gloves, inspect each piece for damage, and then count the pieces for each ventilation bag. Repeat the cleaning process if they are not clean and replace any damage or missing parts. Next, put the bag back together. Here's one way. Remember the order you took them apart. Then line up the pieces in the opposite order. Start with the last piece. Now test that the equipment is working well. First, squeeze the bag and watch for the valve to open and close. Next, make a seal with your palm and squeeze the bag. You should feel pressure against your hand. See the bag reinflate and hear air escaping from the pop-off valve. Then test the suction device. Squeeze it, block the tip and release. It should not expand until the tip is free. To store the equipment, either wrap it in sterile linen or place it in a plastic or metal container that has been disinfected. The lid should fit tightly. Remember, to prevent the spread of dangerous germs, thoroughly clean your resuscitation equipment. Follow the steps. Wipe the equipment, take it apart, clean, then disinfect it, dry, then put it back together, test, and store it. Make sure your equipment is safe 
for the next baby.